the main event, Jay Swingler. How are you feeling? Absolutely fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. Are you where he catches this and look at his body position and he has to pull that back around under his feet navigate fight night key moments replay the rounds of action you want to see it again and again To the water for the final time. He's won the race to go along with a championship. Absolutely magnificent. What a strike that is. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Hello and good evening. It's the final group stage games in the UEFA Women's Champions League. I'm Flo Pollock, here to bring you full commentary as Paris FC take on Chelsea in the final game of Group D. So what's at stake this evening then? Well, Chelsea are already through as group winners after they beat Real Madrid 2-1 last week. However, they'll be keen to maintain their current unbeaten run in this year's competition. But as you can see from the table, for Paris, it's all to play for. The Parisian side need to beat Chelsea here today and hope that PK Hecht can fail to win against already eliminated Real Madrid in the other game in Group D, both kicking off at the same time in just over five minutes. Two sides in the tunnel here at the Stade Charlotte in Paris. Perfect night for football around 11 degrees, not too much of a wind. Last time these sides met then back in November, Chelsea won 4-1 courtesy of a Sam Kerr hat-trick. Sophie Ingle also on the score sheet for the Blues and Thea Grebeval with a consolation goal for Paris FC. Tonight, of course, Chelsea without Sam Kerr for this evening and for the rest of the campaign. Australians suffered that serious knee injury during the winter break. So here come the two teams then. Paris FC hosting Chelsea in this final game of Group D. It's been a really, really good and somewhat unexpected campaign from Paris FC. They beat two former winners, Arsenal and Wolfsburg, in the qualifying rounds to get here. And tonight they're playing to stay in the competition up against Chelsea. Expecting a good game as well after the Real Madrid game. Emma Hayes in usual Emma Hayes fashion, does not not want to mince her words, described the game as a little bit boring. I think she was talking about the game state more than, the, than her team's performance. Real Madrid sitting in the low block, but today, ahead of this game, Emma Hayes was saying Paris will have to come out and give us a game.
two sides then. Champions League anthem. Will it be the last time Paris FC are hearing that this season? They need a win today to ensure they can stay in the competition. A blend of experience and youth in this Paris FC side. Two players, including their captain, age 38, experience, heads in the side. And that mixture of youth as well. A lot of players in this Chelsea lineup as well. Played in France over the past couple of seasons. Played for Paris Saint Germain, Lyon, so they'll be happy, I'm sure, to be back to Paris to back to Paris for tonight. Let's have a look at the home side's lineup then. Two changes from the side that drew nil-nil with Hecken last match. Sissoko guilty of giving away a penalty in that game, replaced by Greboval in defence. And Boudjur comes in to lead the line in place of Riba Deje. So a strong attacking Paris FC lineup. Our referee for tonight then, Ivana Projekovska from Macedonia, refereed at the 2022 Women's Euros. Also studied criminology at university, so we can be confident in her ability to identify any illicit challenges within the match today. And let's have a look at the Chelsea lineup. And so Emma Hayes mixes things up, seven changes from the Real Madrid game. A first start in the Champions League for Aggie Beaver-Jones, fresh from signing a new contract with the club to keep her here till 2026. Also, Elena Cankovic returns from injury to play for the first time since November, and Musovic back in goal instead of Hannah Hampton. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Final game in Group D then. Chelsea already through to the quarterfinals. Paris FC fighting to stay in the competition. Playing at home against the English champions. Will be Chelsea that will be getting us underway. They've made a number of changes, but Emma Hayes ahead of this match said that this side is fresh. They're ready to prove themselves fight for their place in the side. Atmosphere starting to build here in Paris. Will be Chelsea that will be getting us underway in their third kit this afternoon, this evening even. And it is Chelsea that get us underway. The Blues looking to finish unbeaten in the group stages. Paris FC vying to remain in the competition. Only three points tonight will do for them alongside the Swedish side, BK Hacken failing to beat Real Madrid in the other group game. Ashley Lawrence into the captain, Sophie Ingle. Captaining the side today in the absence of Millie Bright, Chelsea's usual captain and Sam Kerr. Both players, two key players for Chelsea who are out. We're not expecting Sam Kerr to come back at any point in this season. Millie Bright, I'm sure Emma Hayes is very keen and hopeful that she will be back for the latter stages of the Champions League. So Paris FC throw in in front of Emma Hayes, the Chelsea manager, who's just stalking her technical area. It's out on that left-hand side. Long ball upfield. Good play from Mielda. Experienced head at the back of Chelsea's defence. 
been at Chelsea for as long as I can remember now, Mara Mielder. Just slotting in instead of Jess Carter at centre half with Kadisha Buchanan on the ball now. That's a poor touch and can Paris FC come forward? Matteo. Tries to dink it out to that far side. Lawrence has made a mess of it here. Effort comes in. Flag is up. Will be a free kick for Chelsea. Chelsea unable to take advantage of that and break. Cut out again by Ashley Lawrence. And then Buchanan was fouled by Bourdieu. Heavy strapping on Bourdieu's knee there. Key player for them, though. Perise knocks it out of play for a Paris FC throw-in. Emma Hayes then, the Chelsea manager, off at the end of this season to manage the USA women's national side. She's won it all in England. The League Cup, the FA Cup, numerous WSL titles. The one competition that has eluded her is the Champions League. This her final season with Chelsea to do it. Sandrine Subriand, Paris FC's manager. hoping to take her side into the next stage of the competition. Buchanan on the ball again, slides it out to Lawrence. Nice approach pay from Chelsea here. Frank Herbie. Sophie Ingle just dropping deep to collect the ball. And Buchanan will stride forward over the halfway line for Chelsea. Frank Kirby after losing the ball wins it back. Quarter final draw then will be taking place on the 6th of February. First touch as well for Paris FC's goalkeeper. Shamaka Nadozi. Such a key player for them. Ashley Lawrence with the throw in. Just another look at this. Me official just closing Nadozi down, not letting her have the time to pick that pass out. Nice straight ball forward to Frank Kirby. That one's cut out well, though. Paris FC to attack. Bodja holding her run. And that's it. Poor through ball straight through to Zachira Musevic in the Chelsea goal. Only started one of four of Chelsea's games in 2024, Musevic. Hannah Hampton's been the preferred number one goalkeeper of late. But Chelsea do tend to switch their goalkeepers around. They've got three really quality goalkeepers in Hampton, Musevic, and Berger as well, experienced German international. She's not fit enough at the moment to play. So Hampton and Musovic sharing the duties. Very tentative opening. Six minutes so far, neither side creating any chances.
hooked forward by Nuskin. Ashley Lawrence again with the throw in. One of three Chelsea players who've all played in the French League. Lawrence signed from, signed from Paris Saint-Germain over the summer. Chelsea try and break. Aggie Beaver-Jones won't get there first. Tierney heads on. And Borgia will chase down Musevic. Not the best ball to Perise. And Musevic clears out of play for a Paris FC throw-in. Soya with the throw then. Another experienced player, 38 years old. Ten caps for France over the years. Throws it into Tierney. Captaining Paris FC this evening. Beaver Jones has won it back for Chelsea. Soya. Dispossessed then up to Fischl. Very scrappy game at the moment. Frank Herbie wins it, though, and Chelsea will build from the back. Buchanan getting a lot of touches so far in this opening eight minutes. Canadian international sign from Leon, a side that Paris FC will be very familiar with. The team that really dominates the French division, did dominate the Champions League as well for many years. In fact, the last eight Champions Leagues have been won by either Lyon or Barcelona, and Lyon won six of those. Sophie Ingle. Out with Perisse, French international. Beaver Jones, this is better from Chelsea. It's now with Chankovic. Can she find the delivery? Hooks it into the back post. And Frank Kirby with the header to give Chelsea the lead early on. Chelsea's first chance of the game. And it's taken perfectly by Frank Kirby. Paris FC nil, Chelsea one. <laughs> Two goals now in two games for Frank Kirby. She scored a header at the weekend in the league. And she's got another header here in Paris. This was too easy for Chelsea, though. No pressure on the ball. Chankovic with a great delivery and a free header at the back post. It's poor from Paris FC. Lack of communication between the goalkeeper and the defenders. But Frank Kirby won't mind. And now Paris FC have got a bigger mountain to climb than they did before. Paris FC coming forward straight away. Ball delivered low into the box. Matteo on the follow up. Shanks her effort well over. That's the first Champions League goal this campaign for Frank Kirby. Musevic with the goal kick then for Chelsea. Free kick goes the way of the home side. Corbeau fouled in the build-up there. Taken early, looking for Soyer. Old Hussein. Better from Paris FC, and they're in behind Buchanan here. 
And Ashley Lawrence does well. Dufour just tried to do a little bit too much. She'd beaten Buchanan. Could have squared it to Bourdieu in the centre. Tried to take on Lawrence as well. And Chelsea have to throw it. Buchanan back to Musevich. And Chelsea will be pretty happy with how things are going so far. Going up a goal early on, they can sit back. Wait for Paris FC to come on to them to try and get back into the game and then pick them off. Good hold up play by Fischel. Played over the top for Beaver Jones. Beaver Jones against Sawyer. Didn't quite communicate effectively uh, with Chankovic. Chelsea throw in. Ev Perise. Sign from Bordeaux. She's won the Champions League as well with Lyon. So another player that's used to playing French opposition. Up to Fischl. Couldn't quite find Frank Kirby. And then well dealt with by Marin Mielder. Sophie Ingle not under any pressure. Passes it straight to a Paris FC player. Can they break now with Bodja? Again, good hold up play from the number nine. Soya. Direct long balls cut out. Chelsea now with Kirby. Great link up play. And Lawrence unleashed down this right hand side. Slides it through to Frank Kirby, cuts it across, Beaver Jones can't finish. Offside flag is up. Aggie Beaver Jones coming so close to her first Champions League goal for Chelsea. Great play, Frank Kirby in the build up there. And it's really good defending actually from Soyer. Just got a toe on the ball to prevent Beaver Jones from tapping that home. Chelsea looking in control and a real threat going forward. Free kick then for Nadozi. Played for Nigeria in the World Cup. Saved some crucial penalties there. Saved some really crucial penalties in the qualifying stages of the Women's Champions League as well. In fact, she saved a penalty last week as well against BK Hacking in that nil-nil. Saved her up from Roja Kafaji's effort. Really exciting goalkeeper. One of the best goalkeepers in the competition, I would say. And you do wonder if Paris FC will Maybe struggle to hold on to her if she continues playing the way she is. So Chelsea in possession then. Up to Fischl. Back to goal, turns well, but plays it back to Mielda. Nuskin. Back to Buchanan and Paris FC struggling to get hold of possession and string a decent number of passes together in this opening 15 16 minutes. That wasn't a good ball though, and it's a lobbed effort and it's wide of goal. Musevic was off the line, Tini with the effort it was worth a shot. And had that bit on target, I wonder if Musevic would have got back. Gaia Tantini. 
another experienced player, 38 years old, scored a penalty against Real Madrid in that big win for them earlier on the group stages. But Frank Kirby, is she in now? No, she's not. Flag is up. But Nadozi was there anyway. Just took her run a little bit too soon, Kirby. But the Paris FC goalkeeper was out off her line quickly. Something she's really adept at alongside saving penalties is coming off her line quickly, snuffing out danger, playing a bit of a sweeper keeper role. That long ball into the channel won't find Dufour. Buchanan back to her goalkeeper. It's not great for Musevic though. Tierney into Matteo. Matteo tries to find Dufour and again cut out well by Buchanan. Frank Kirby just tracking the run. Borgio can't get there. Cut out well and back to Musevic. Chankovic. Serbian international just can't keep that in. Paris FC throw in. Good balls. Plays it out to the left hand side. Dufour. This is really nice build up play from Paris FC. Poor ball in though. Matteo was at the back stick. She couldn't find her. A little bit better from the Parisian side, though. It's now Soyer. Bogart. Better from the home side, holding on to the ball. Curse of the commentators, so I say that they see possession. Good close control from Chankovic. And it's back with Buchanan. Another misplaced pass from Sophie Ingle. And it's Tini coming forward for the home side. Still going, Tini pulls the trigger. Doesn't bother Musevic. Just over. Gaetan Tierney just finding herself a bit of space on the edge of the box. Just leapt back. Only a yard or so over the crossbar. Paris FC captain wanting Chelsea to hurry up and take this goal kick. And they do, they go long. And the official can't hold it up. And Bourdieu into the Chelsea box. Bourdieu with the effort. Good save by Musevic. Got down quickly. Chelsea, more defending to do. Bourdieu with the ball across. Musevic collects. Really good play from Paris FC's number nine. Took the ball well. Hit it hard with her left foot. Me official just down a moment ago. Looks like she's back on her feet, okay to carry on. And Musevic will just take her time, lofting a long, straight forward ball. Bogart under pressure from Kirby. Bogart can't keep it in on that left-hand side. Chelsea throw in. Chelsea top in their league, the Women's Super League, by three points, looking for a fifth successive league title. They're also playing in four competitions in the space of 13 days after today. So the Women's Champions League, the Women's Super League, then they're in the League Cup and also the FA Cup. 
as they defend here. Tierney with the through ball, looking for Dufour. And Lawrence will let that roll out of play. Good defensive play just to shield the ball out for a Chelsea goal kick. So as I've already said, Chelsea already into the quarter-finals. And in that, the four group winners are seeded and drawn against the four group runners-up, with the group winners playing their second leg at home. So with Barcelona and Lyon already having won their groups, Chelsea will not be able to draw them in the quarter-finals. Teams that they can draw, runners-up of Group A, who are Benfica, runners-up of Group B, Bran, Norwegian side. As Paris FC come forward with Budja in the box, up against Mieldo, did just enough. Lays it off to Lawrence. The official can't hold it up. Handball, though, against Greboval, free kick for Chelsea. And then the other group, Group C, still all to play for. Could be any of Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Roma or Ajax who go through and who go second. And I suspect Chelsea would want to, if they could, avoid facing Paris Saint-Germain or Bayern Munich in the quarter-finals. Tini up against Ingle. Chelsea nick it back. Frank Kirby, the goal scorer, up to Fischl. Good play, though, by Paris. FC centre-half, and then a late challenge. Results in a free kick for the home side. Rebeval takes it quickly, scored in the reverse fixture at Stamford Bridge in that 4-1 loss as Bordeaux is in between the two centre-halves. Can she slide it out to a teammate? Yes, she can. Dufour, back to Bordeaux, in the box, good quick feet. Shot blocked by Buchanan. She's getting in good positions, though. It's Mathilde Bordeaux looking a threat. Three goals in the Champions League this season, including against English opposition, against two against Arsenal in the qualifying phases. As Matteo now drags her effort wide. Good run in between the two Chelsea defenders. Didn't quite get that right there, the effort. Clara Matteo started every Champions League game and league game as well for Paris FC. She's a constant fixture in this side. Fischl spreads the play to Kirby. Kirby to the overlapping runner of Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence does well there. Back to Ingle into Chankovic. She loses out in Tierney, will now run it forward. Her pass intercepted, though. Good play by Fischl, through ball to Frank Kirby. Not quite accurate enough, and Kirby wasn't quite on the same wavelength. Nadozi finds her centre half. It's not a good ball though. Chankovic, she's got Kirby if she can find her, plays it into her path. Ingle. Chankovic again, not quite on the same wavelength as Kirby. Been out for much of this season, Yelena Chankovic with a calf injury. So Chelsea fans will be pleased to see her back in the squad. Maybe looking a little bit rusty. Lou Bogart taking this throw in. One more yellow card 
and she will miss the next game if Paris FC do progress, that is. And if you're just joining us midway through this first half, Chelsea very much looking in control, leading through a Frank Kirby header. Matteo, though, for the home side, tries to thread it into the path of Le Moel. Paris FC will build again. Hooked forward, headed clear by Buchanan. Matteo couldn't find the one-touch pass. And it's Aude Hussein now driving forward. Good ball out to Soyer. Her ball across the face of goal and the centre-half started. And then she latched onto it for a second. I thought that was going to rifle into the back of the net. That's the defender's shot, though. Aude Hussein. You can see what her manager thought of that one. But Paris FC are starting to create chances, craft openings against this Chelsea side. You feel the next, go next goal will be critical. Now that sounds a bit cliche to say. But a two goal cushion and you feel like probably game over. Chelsea's experience and pedigree, you wouldn't expect them to lose from a two goal lead. Picked up by Matteo. But Chelsea have it back. Beaver Jones making the run. Frank Kirby didn't get the pass right. Sawyer to Matteo. Up to Bourdieu. Did well just to, in that physical battle with Buchanan. Free kick for Chelsea, though. Paris FC then in the league, the top tier of French football, their third. Trying to compete with Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain, who dominate French football. Frank Kirby. Ingle just opting to slow the play down for Chelsea. Good work by Beaver Jones, young academy product, driving in field. She spotted the run of Lawrence. And Lawrence find the delivery. Back to Perise. Perise now with the delivery. Nuskin was there. Too much on it. Out for a goal kick for Paris FC. Next up for these sides, then Chelsea at home to Everton in the league at the weekend. And Paris FC home to relegation threatened Lille. Quite a busy period, both these sides. Shokunuskin back to Buchanan. I'm sure Emma Hayes will have been pleased that her side got that 2 1 victory over Real Madrid to secure progression into the next stage of the Champions League so she could. Rest some players, mix it up. That's what she's done. Lots of changes today. Lots of players looking to prove themselves. Official, can she get onto this? No, she can't. Good. Alert goalkeeping again from Nadozi. Big game, really, in a sense, for Mia Official. Signed over the summer. 
from a Mexican side. She's a US international, only 22 years of age, but she's got big boots to fill in terms of coming in to replace Sam Kerr, who won't be playing for the rest of the campaign. And Chelsea have got other players. They, they signed Myra Ramirez a couple of weeks ago. She's ineligible to play today. But she can be registered for the knockout rounds. So that's officials' competition, really. Play well and prove herself tonight. She might find herself in the starting 11. Not if she does that, though. Paris FC goal kick. Chelsea also have Katrina Macario, signed from Lyon in the summer. She's got, she was out with an ACL injury, but she's back in training, I hear. She scored a goal in the 2022 Champions League final when Lyon beat Barcelona. She could be a really key player later on for Chelsea in the latter stages of this competition. Home fans not liking that challenge on their number nine. Emma Hayes having some choice words with her players. I wonder what she's made of the first 33 minutes. She called the Real Madrid game last week boring. Hope she's enjoying this one. I certainly am. Fischl back to Ingle. Loses out and now it's Tierney with a through ball for Dufour. And good play by Buchanan, just to shield that out of play. Julie Defour, Paris FC's top goal scorer, 12 goals in total, seven in the Champions League. So far, Buchanan is handling her pretty well. It's back with Musevic. Neither side able to get it over control, under control even. And then Mield and Perisay with a bit of lack of communication. Matteo can't find the through ball for a teammate. Wins it back though. And again, danger snuffed out by Buchanan. Just over 10 minutes to go till the half-time break. Tierney tried to lob Musevic, kept alive. No, it isn't. By Dufour, out for a Chelsea goal kick. And Paris FC have got in and around the Chelsea box. They have created openings. Not really tested Musevic too much. One or two efforts on target that the goalkeeper had to deal with. Under a bit of pressure now from Tierney. She gets it long. Elsewhere in that other game in Group D, it is Real Madrid nil, BK Hecken nil. Greboval deals with that well. And chip down the line to Tierney. Good play and turn from Matteo. Corboz switches it out to Bogart. Dufour and Matteo link up well. Matteo just overran that though. Good play from. Kankovic through to Beaver Jones. It's gone wide though. Only got Fischl in the box as an option. Back to Chankovic. Good play there. Chankovic into the box. Fischl with the header. And Mia Fischl makes it two for Chelsea. Another headed goal. 
for the English side. Me official's first goal of the Champions League for Chelsea. Paris FC nil, Chelsea two. It came again from Yelena Chankovic. Her ball into the box. And as much as I praised Jamaka Nadozi ahead of this, I don't think she'll look back on that one and be pleased. I think the goalkeeper should have done better. All about this assist, though. Creates the space, Chankovic. Just dinks it in there. And Fischl, just stronger than the defender, holds the ground, gets the leap on her. And the Dozy, I think, will be unhappy with that. It was close to her. It was from close range, but it was very close to her. Chelsea cruising to victory here. Chelsea very much look in cruise control. And the goals they've scored, they've been a little bit too easy. I think Paris FC's manager, Sandrine Subaron, will be frustrated with the goals they've conceded. Nuskin picks it up. Chelsea go back to their goalkeeper, Musevic. Up to Kirby, good hold-up play. And Ingle switches it wide. Chelsea enjoying their evening out in Paris. Still goalless in that other game in Group D then, round of nil, BK Hecken nil. Ashley Lawrence. Oh, Frank Kirby was in space in the 18-yard box there if Lawrence could find her. Chelsea toying with the Parisian side at the moment. Perisave. Beaver Jones can't get that under control. Out for a throw in for the home side. Mielda will just play that back to her goalkeeper. Signed a one year contract extension at the start of this season. Maren Mielda. Doesn't feature in every game for Chelsea. Still a key player for them, though. An experienced leader. Scored a ice-cold penalty against Lyon in the quarter-finals last season in the Champions League. She is pretty formidable from the spot. Flagged up there against... Paris FC. A look at that Chelsea goal again then. Chankovic with the dink delivery. Official with the powerful header. You can see the frustration there from the Paris FC goalkeeper. She knows she can do better than that. Five minutes to go to the break, then. Kobos plays it back to Bogart. Hooks it down, field into the channel. Laid off beautifully by Bourdieu. She's looked sharp, the number nine for Paris FC. Keen to get into the game, making good runs. Just needs a little bit better service. Tierney, the captain, wins the free kick. But she'll take it quickly.
Lemoyel. Better from Paris FC. Matteo now. Runs to the byline. It's going to go out for a corner. Can Paris FC get one back just before the break? Matteo with the delivery. It's an outswinger. Tini with the effort blocked. Still alive. But Musevic will palm that one in play. And shot off that attack. Also got some heavy strapping on her knee. That right knee. Kirby back to Lawrence. Miskin with the sliding challenge. The home side stringing a good bunch of passes together. Through ball cut out easily by Perise though. And then Dozy will collect this one. As we approach half time, then I think Emma Hayes will be pretty happy with her side's first half performance. Paris FC coming forward with Matteo, though, approaching the penalty box. Matteo with the effort, blocked by Paris. A. In fact, let's see that on the replay. I think it might have actually just been a wild effort. It wasn't blocked by the Chelsea defender. It is, so goal kick for Chelsea. There is space in and around that Chelsea box, though. And Paris FC have got into positions. They've just not exploited or been clinical enough when they've got there. Beaver Jones hooks it forward for Fischl. Good defending. Swoyer. Chips it downfield to Bourdieu. Let's it run across her body. She's got support out on that left-hand side. She finds the player, the effort comes in. And again, it's wide. Not clinical enough. Paris FC. That's been the story of the first half of the home side. When they've had opportunities or got in the box, they've not tested Musevic. No additional time at the end of this half, then. Chelsea having a jaunt in Paris so far. Took the lead through Frank Kirby. A header from close range from a Chankovic cross. Another header on 37 minutes from Mia Fischel to give Chelsea a two-goal cushion. At half-time, it's Paris FC nil, Chelsea two. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas.
You've just left home and moved to the city. And it's not quite going like you planned. I feel like I shouldn't have come here. Your sister says. Babe, you're surrounded by 8 million people. Just go out and find them. So, you do. You dance. You sit in awkward silences. You kiss. And you laugh till it hurts. A world that seems so closed off now feels so full of possibilities. Tinder. It starts with a swipe. Great to have you with us today. And as he clips in, clops off. Looking relaxed in the warm-up. Here we go. That's a super turn. And a nice little burst of speed. Oh, he really enjoyed that. Perfect touch. And he's curled it beautifully. Now, this is interesting. It could get called off here. But he's found a way. That's magnificent. There's just no stopping him. Get up to £400 of selected Peloton packages. better it's out there but you've got to chase it down time to cut the rope get stuck in turn him into him learning things my teachers couldn't teach reaching heights i never thought i'd reach i'm part of a crew now never alone from nowhere to everywhere i left a small town and turned it around i was born in Blythe, but i was made in the royal navy Gotta be a defense's worst nightmare. I mean, they gotta cover every single inch of that field. Keep them in the pocket. Allen dancing around in the pocket, trying to find somebody in the end zone. Throw! Caught! Probably 85% of the time, if you let him roll out, something bad for the defense is gonna happen. Back against the grain. Every no no there is known, and Big 17 can pull it off. So all of us start moving to the left a little bit, thinking a scramble drill, left side of the end zone, and then all of a sudden he just pulls up. The vision of seeing the other side of the field and the arm strength to get it there, I mean, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He do it all. He runs, he can. He has an arm, he's accurate, he can read defenses. Josh Alien Allen! The guy just pretty much has it all. One, two, three, one, two, three, get it! <laughs> First half highlights. Then and Chelsea took the lead with pretty much their first effort on goal. Frank Kirby with the header from the Yelena Chankovic cross. Two-headed goals in our last two games now for Frank Kirby. All a little bit too easy for Chelsea as well. Plenty of space for Chankovic to lift it towards the back stick. And an unmarked header for Frank Kirby.
Chelsea continue to control possession in the opening stages. And this chance here from Aggie Beaver-Jones, so close to her first Champions League goal for Chelsea. This time created by Frank Kirby, but actually a really good challenge from Sawyer. Paris FC's right back. Opening 20 minutes, there weren't too many chances for Paris FC. Their captain, Tierney, with the effort over the bar. Their best chance in an opening 20 minutes. And after that effort, they started to grow into the game a little bit more, Paris FC. Bourdieu with the shot blocked by Musevic. First shot on goal from the home side's number nine. And then maybe the best chance of the first half for Paris FC. Old Hussein starting the move, getting on that one-two, but skying her effort well wide of target. The centre-half, not the play, perhaps one shooting in the box. And then Chelsea doubled their lead. Great move started out by Beaver Jones, but again, the creator, Yelena Chankovic, sold a player a dummy, found me official in the box. Strong, powerful header. And Chelsea 2-0 up, very much in control. The stats from the first half then, as you can see. Chelsea with better possession. Not too many attempts on target, only one for Paris FC, two for Chelsea. But Chelsea very much cruising, I would say, in this game here in Paris. The home side are going to need to up their game in the second half if they've got any hope of staying in this competition. They need a win here tonight, remember. Great to have you with us today. And as he clips in, clops off. Looking relaxed in the warm up. Here we go. That's a super turn. And a nice little burst of speed. Oh, he really enjoyed that. Perfect touch. And he's curled it beautifully. Now, this is interesting. It could get called off here. But he's found a way. That's magnificent. There's just no stopping him. Get up to £400 of selected Peloton packages. You've just left home and moved to the city, and it's not quite going like you planned. I feel like I shouldn't have come here. Your sister says. Babe, you're surrounded by eight million people. Just go out and find them. So, you do. You dance. You sit in awkward silences. You kiss, and you laugh till it hurts. A world that seems so closed off, 
life now feels so full of possibilities. Tinder, it starts with a swipe. I was dancing when I was 12. I was dancing when I was out. I danced myself right out the pool. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. Success begins with a person's will. It's a state of mind. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Second half. This game between Paris FC and Chelsea underway very shortly. A very efficient, hegemonic first half from Chelsea. They didn't have too many chances on goal, but Frank Kirby and Mia Fischel clinical on their goals. And it's those two goals that's the difference so far between Paris FC and Chelsea. Chelsea manager Emma Hayes she'll be happy with her side's first half performance they've got the job done got plenty of options on the bench should she want to change things up plenty of strong options as well Lauren James for example Guru Wrighton Johanna Ritting Karnarid Neve Charles Erin Cup but all players that usually start for Chelsea and world beaches are that as well As for the home side, they've got it all to do in this next 45 minutes. It's a tough ask against the English champions. But there are opportunities to be had. They just need to be more clinical. Paris FC have scored in eight of the nine Champions League matches this season. The only one that they failed to score in was that nil-nil with BK Hecken last time out and I suspect them and their manager will be thinking that was the game when they lost qualification that nil nil with Hecken they needed to beat them there beating Chelsea tonight is a tough tough ask Emma Hayes just high-fiving the Paris FC captain Tierney 38 years old, been in the game a long time. So both sets of players out on the pitch. Can 
and Paris FC give their fans something to cheer about in this second half. They're playing in their home strip, the all dark blue. Chelsea in their third strip, which apparently is Eton blue. I think if it was a Dulux colour, though, it's more muted aqua, I would say. So a short performance from Chelsea in the first half. Will they get more goals in the second and put the game to bed? Smiles on the Chelsea players. Big broad grin on the face of Sophie Ingle, Chelsea's captain. So second half of this final game in Group D. Paris FC getting us back underway. Got a massive mountain to climb if they're going to stay in this competition. Chelsea leading by two goals to nil. Cruising into the quarterfinals already qualified, of course. But looking to go unbeaten in the group stages. In fact, Chelsea unbeaten in the last 11 Women's Champions League group stage matches. The last time they lost away to Wolfsburg in December 2021. Barring a miraculous turnaround here from the home side, I think that unbeaten record in the group stage matches will continue for Chelsea. Paris FC trying to come forward. Danger snuffed down, it's back with Buchanan. A reminder then of who Chelsea can face in the next round, in the quarterfinals. It will be the runners-up of group, either Group A, Group B, Group C. The draw is on February the 6th. Some teams that Chelsea could face include Benfica and Brahm, who both finished runners-up of their group. But the runners up of Group C, that's wide open still. Could be any of Paris Saint Germain, Bayern Munich, Roma, or Ajax. Those sides will play later this evening. 8 pm kickoff. Elsewhere in the other game in this group, it's still Real Madrid nil, PK Hecken nil. So Hecken going through alongside Chelsea as things stand. Tierney lays it off well, coming forward, and there is the effort from Julie Dufour, got that all wrong. She's been so clinical in the Champions League, Dufour, just leant back and skied that one. And it's chances like that, that Paris FC need to take if they're going to have any hope in this game. That's a really poor finish. She had the goal at her mercy. But they cut Chelsea wide open there, a good sign in that respect. Musevic goes long. Muskin leaps onto that. And Frank Kirby can't get there ahead of Bogart, who just stabs it back to a goalkeeper. Beaver Jones and out for a Paris FC throw in. Nice control by Tierney. Up to Bourdieu. Marshalled well again by Buchanan, though. She's been key at the heart of that Chelsea def defence, Kadisha Buchanan. In the absence of Millie Bright, she's been out with 
a knee injury for most of this season that she picked up at the end of the World Cup. Really key player for England and Chelsea, Millie Bright. Emma Hayes will be desperate for her to be back for the latter stages of the Champions League. I suspect the ideal centre-half partner partnership for Emma Hayes would be Buchanan and Bright, or perhaps Buchanan and, sorry, perhaps Bright and Jess Carter, two England players. Good strength by Frank Kirby. And Ashley Lawrence and Kirby both doing well under pressure. Ingle then spreads it out to Mielder. Chelsea switching the play well and efficiently. One back by Beaver Jones. Didn't quite wrap her foot around that. Frank Kirby gives her a, a clap for the effort nonetheless. One back by Chankovic. Does well as well to win the free kick, which she takes quickly to Kirby. And then Ingle a little bit heavy-handed on Tierney. Looked like a painful one. Just caught her on the top of the boot there. Painful one on her cold January evening and Tini just making her frustrations felt to the Welsh international Dufour can't hold it up wins her side the throw in though Emma Hayes looking a touch frustrated there on the sidelines. And Paris FC come again, building from the back. Chelsea just blocking out all the passing lanes, forcing Paris FC to go back and to go around, switch the play. It's a long ball into the channel for Tierney to chase. Intelligent play from Mielda, just to see it out of play for a throw-in. Mentioned earlier than the last eight Champions Leagues have been won by either Lyon, who won six, or Barcelona, who won two. Will we see another side win it this season? The last side to win it that wasn't either of those two sides was 2015, Frankfurt. They beat PSG in the final. The only English side to have won it was Arsenal, 2007. Chelsea looking to become another English side to get their name in the record books, get their name on the Champions League trophy. They're the only English side in the competition this season. Both Arsenal and Manchester United didn't make it through the qualifying rounds. In fact, Arsenal were put out by Chelsea's opponents today, Paris FC. That's not a sight you want to see as a opposition player. Guru Wrighton and Aaron Cuthbert warming up to maybe come on. Chelsea win the corner. And they've looked good. Uh, really against Paris FC, who've been a bit dithery in the air. What can Chelsea make of this corner? Paris FC fans trying to get behind their side. Breathe a little life into them. In the swinging corner, Nadozi punches. 
good decisive goalkeeping. Bourdieu picks it up. Good tracking back by Perisse. And Chelsea back in control. Musevic's long ball just straight to a dark blue shirt. Tierney back to Bogart. Krebeval scored in the other fixture in that 4 1 win back at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea win it back. Ball slid through looking for Frank Kirby. The defender had a couple of yards on her though. She's not got the pace to nip in front of her. Ten minutes into this second half, then the game continuing much as it did in the first, really. Paris FC had a very good chance with Dufour. Her effort over. Bourdieu's on onside here. She's got options in the box. Bourdieu will come back to her, sets it back for Dufour. The flag was up for that second pass. And Chelsea will have the free kick. Did well, Bourdieu here, but she was offside when it came back to her. Trying to tee it up for Dufour. Perisse lumps it long downfield. Sometimes that is, as a defender, you just got to smash it downfield. Nadozi. Central ball, it's going to come straight back at her. The UEFA Women's Champions League final then is on the 25th of May, it's in Bilbao. Leon Barcelona, as I've mentioned, are definitely favourites. Chelsea perhaps also in that list. I think the English media would say so, but I'm not sure if media in other, other, other nations would say that Chelsea are favourites. Paris FC coming forward. But Buchanan is there as ever. Tini picks it up. Good play from Perisay just to cut out that ball. Frank Kirby now with the strength. Great pass to Nuskin. Nuskin plays it into the channel for Beaver Jones up against Sawyer. Nice control, gets her head up looking for the pass, but plays back to Ingle. Kirby to Kankovic. Lawrence going down from a push in the back. Don't think she's going to get a penalty for that. That would be very soft. And Bourdieu can't keep that one alive. Some Chelsea substitutes perhaps on the horizon. Official does well there. Lovely flick on round the corner from Chankovic. Can Lawrence get onto this? Stretches out those long legs. Tries to cut it back to Kirby. Paris FC struggling to get out of their own defensive third. They've done well though with TNE. Does really well against Nuskin. Spreads it out to the right hand side. Dufour up against Perisse. She beats her. She's got options in the box. Looks for Matteo at the back stick. Good header by Buchanan. Still alive with Matteo. 
Mateo, not sure who she was trying to play that across to there. And Perese again will lump it downfield. Mateo into Corboz. And her ball just dinked forward. No one onto it. Easy save for Musovic. Daphne Carboz was a part of the Manchester City team that won the WSL title in 2016, beating today's opponents, Chelsea, in the process. She's been at Paris FC now for four years, though. Also doing a PhD in medicine. Handball there from Kadesha Buchan, and she knew what she was doing. And there's that move from Tierney on Choka Nuskin. Gaetan Tierney. Surely this is too far out to shoot, but there's plenty of dark blue shirts forward. Hooks it towards the left, back post. Header across the face of goal and a bit of miscommunication between Musovic and Ingle there. I don't think they meant to see that out of play like that. Ingle just taking charge of the situation and knocking it out for a corner. Thirty minutes remaining. Corner into a dangerous area. Mateo sets it back. Again delivered low into the box, doesn't beat Nuskin at the near post. Good block there by Beaver Jones. Chankovic can't bring it down. Elsewhere in the other game in Group D then still. Nil-nil between Real Madrid and BK Hecken. Free kick for Chelsea. And we are going to see those Chelsea substitutions then. Looks like Yelena can... Um, Johanna Rittinkana at even is about to come on to the pitch. It's a good move from the home side. Borja up against Buchanan. The Canadian just sticks out a long leg. And Borja takes it quickly. Plays it into the penalty box. There was no one there for her. No one was making that run. And as I've said, Bourdieu's looked lively, but I think Kadesha Buchanan's had her in her pocket, really, for most of this game. She's just handled her well. Chankovic striding forward, finds Nuskin, slides it into Beaver Jones. Beaver Jones across goal, and the flag's up. Hold her run, Aggie Beaver Jones. So those Chelsea substitutions then. Looks like Yelena Chankovic making way to assist in her first Chelsea start since November. Good output from her. I'm sure Emma Hayes will be very pleased with that. She's replaced by Guru Wrighton. Scored in the last game from the spot against Real Madrid. And the second substitution then. Frank Kirby got the opening goal, makes way for Johanna ritting Karnerit. I'm sure Johanna ritting Karnerit will be pleased with the outcome of this result, signed last summer from BK Hecken, who look like they're going through 
as a result of this, as the ball's played through to Tierney. She was offside when it was played. Free kick, Chelsea. It was tight, but she just overstepped. Miel to doing well to hold that offside trap. Official gets onto it. Four balls, picks it up. Borgia wearing those new Predators, new Adidas Predator boots. Boots of a striker. Matteo back to Kaboz. Tries to slide it into that channel. And Ristin Karnerid can't latch onto it. Tierney. Plenty of blue shirts around as she skipped past them all, just a bit too heavy on the through ball. She perhaps should have kept going. Looks like Paris FC also going to make a substitution then. In the next break of play. Buchanan with the clearance. 25 minutes remaining. Paris FC in need of a win here to stay in the competition, trailing Chelsea by two goals to nil. Frank Kirby with the first. Mia Fischel with the second. Both headers, both assisted by Elena Chankovic. Cut out well by Od Hussein. Her forward pass straight through to Musevic. And a Chelsea player is down. Kadesha Buchanan in need of a bit of treatment from the physios. And a chance then for Paris FC to make that substitution. Here's that through ball again. Buchanan just pulling up off the ball. That's never a good sign when a player goes down off the ball. So that Paris FC substitution then. Luc Moel making way for Korosek. Capture Korosek. Slovenian international joined in the summer. One goal in nine appearances in the Women's Champions League. Elsewhere in this group, then there has been a goal between Madrid and BK Hecken. And it is the Swedish side Hecken who've taken the lead. Rosa Kafaji to put them to put them in front to Paris FC going out as things stand. Chelsea going through as Group D leaders, BK Hecken as runners-up. What a story for Hecken as well. Buchanan just making her way to this near touchline. Testing out her leg with a couple of hops. And Zachira Musevic will get us underway with a long drop kick. Up to Dufour. Can't force her way past Lawrence. Then lunges in. And the handball's given against her. A bit of frustration creeping into Dufour's game. She did handball. I didn't mean to. But Ham was in an unnatural position. Buchanan OK to continue. Official brings it down. Can't quite get it under control. She's not as expert as Sam Kerr at hold-up play. Beaver Jones, though, for Chelsea. Back to Lawrence. Runs into space with the delivery. Effort comes in from Nuskin. Didn't quite catch that volley how she planned. 
just approach run up was good but just shanked it wide she's had a great start to her Chelsea career Shokunuskan signed from Eintracht Frankfurt over the summer already scored a hat-trick in the league as Chelsea win it back Nuskin now plays it across to Wrighton can't find a teammate and Paris FC will come forward Tierney into the channel for Bourdieu and the flag is up again too many offsides really from a Paris FC point of view their manager Subarand I think we'll be frustrated with that. Too many times their attacks have come to a unnatural end because the assistant referee's got their flag up. Dufour running away from Ashley Lawrence. French side holding on to the ball. Final 20 minutes then. Bit of a late challenge from Ev Perisay. A reminder as well that this is that this is actually the debut in this stage of the competition for Paris FC. So if they do go out this evening, which looks very plausible, I think they can be happy with showing that they've done Tierney skips past Lawrence tries to win the corner can't do so free goal kick even for Chelsea Sophie Ingall squares it to Lawrence Paris FC pressing they've got to go for it now Ritting Karnered a great through ball for me official guru right in with her hands aloft screaming for the ball she's going to get it now the Norwegian right in infield to Nuskin Chelsea moving the ball well zipping it around the turf Beaver Jones Buchanan into official challenge from behind from old Hussein free kick for Chelsea Guru Wright wants to take it quickly Ritting Karnered is trying to make that run round the back referee not ready and Chelsea will pause to take the free kick key player for Chelsea Guru Guru Wrighton Norwegian international scored last match key player for them last season nine goals and 11 assists she's missed quite a lot of this season with an ankle injury starting to get back up to her best now Perise then with the delivery all sorts going on there out for a goal kick not sure that's what Chelsea intended So Chelsea heading into the quarterfinals. Can they go further in this competition they did last season? Knocked out in the semi-finals last season to Barcelona, 2-1 on aggregate. Barcelona are very much Chelsea's bane in the Champions League. They lost them in that final. Oh, it looks like Chelsea as well are going to get a third here. Guru Wrighton. A mess at the back from Paris FC. And Guru Wright says, thank you very much. Taps it home. Paris FC nil, Chelsea three. <laughs> Guru Wright and just alert to what was going on. And again, not great from Chimaka Nadozi. No way back now for the Parisians. Just two defenders neither taking responsibility a long ball from Ingle 
And then here, that Sawyer, that's really poor from the experienced defender. She, she was leaving it for a goalkeeper, but the ball without the box, so Ndozi wouldn't have been able to, to hold the ball. Guru Wrighton helps herself to another goal. So more changes there for Paris FC. Julie Defour coming off. Their top goal scorer hasn't been at her best perhaps this evening. Brousset on to replace her. And then the second substitution. Bourdieu coming off. Did well up front, held the ball up well. Gave it a good go, but just struggled really against the Chelsea defence. Confirmation of that substitution in a moment, but I, I believe it's Rivadeira who's come on. Lawrence back to a goalkeeper. Kuboza. Tierney round the corner. Mielda will step forward and knock that out. See a confirmation of that. Then Ribadeira on. Only, only one start in the Women's Champions League. Has made seven sub appearances though. Ball comes in. Miel that does well there just to clear. Paris FC then in Chelsea territory. Ashley Lawrence just holding up the substitute. Bousset sees it out of play for a Chelsea goal kick. Decent ball in this. Mielda just so cool in her own six yard box. Clears it out of play. That's what 10 years of experience at this level will do for you. Perisse knocks it out for a throw into Paris FC. Nuskin. And I think Chelsea will be happy just to see this game out now. Wrighton gets away from one, her pass intercepted. It's fallen kindly for Bogart. Odd was seen with the long ball. Can't control it, it's now with Ritting Carnerid. Ingle just gets that under control. Sophie Ingle, Buchanan and Mielda have just been so cool in this Chelsea lineup this evening. Ritting Carnera just stepping away from the defender. She's got Beaver Jones to her right. Feeds the striker, Beaver Jones, edge of the box now. Up to Fischel. Fischel with the effort. Now for a corner. Great control with her chest from Mia Fischel. Chelsea corner then, can they add a fourth? Not a particular hurry to take this, looks like Guro Wrighton is trotting over to take it. Yes, 
Chelsea players lining up on that penalty spot. Ball comes in, it's flicked on, and Chelsea have a fourth, and it's Marin Mielder. Two Norwegian internationals combining. Another headed goal for Chelsea. Chelsea heading into the quarterfinals in style. Big grin on the face of Marin Mielder. Just beat her player in the air. Glancing header. Beautiful goal. Chelsea enjoying themselves. Paris FC, very much a beaten side here. Can I get a consolation goal? In the reverse fixture at Stamford Bridge, it was 4-1. Claire Bouval with the goal that time. They're coming forward now, though. Ribadera in the Chelsea box. Plays it across the goal, looking for Bousset, the other substitute. It was a good play from Ribadera. But now Chelsea will break with Beaver Jones travelling over the halfway line, down under a challenge, free kick and a yellow card as well for catcher Cor Coruscant. Was a late challenge. See that challenge again. Beaver Jones had beaten her, she went to ground just to prevent her getting away from her. Another Chelsea substitution then, Neve Charles. Looks like she's coming onto the pitch. Ahead of this game, started every league and Champions League game. She was the only player to do so. It's Ev Perisay who's coming off. Looks like she's struggling from a bit of cramp. Not played 90 minutes in a while. So Charles on, recently signed a new contract as well, keeping her at the club till 2027. Long ball into the box, Nadozi with the punch. So she's caught one of her own players there, the referee's going to surely have to pause this for a head injury. Usher's on the physio as well. Looks like a painful one. See that again on the replay. Just caught by a goalkeeper after that punch was Bogart. Chance for us to catch our breath then and remind you as well that Chelsea are progressing to the quarter-finals as things stand. BK Hecken beating Real Madrid by goal to nil. Rosa Cafaggi on the score sheet. They're going through as runners-up. So teams that Chelsea can face in the next round, Benfica, Brown, and then any one of Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Roma or Ajax, all of those. And that the end of that group is tonight. They'll kick off at 8pm. See that Miel de goal again. She had the defender as well, just holding on to her, but didn't stop her. Nice finish, nice moment between two international teammates. Bogart and a bit of discomfort. Right at the end of the match, getting a clattering from your goalkeeper when you're losing 4-0. It's not a great end to the night for you. Ashley Lawrence then on the ball for Chelsea. Chips it into the path of Fischl. Clearance clatters off the resting corner and it's hit long downfield.
Paris FC, I think, pretty much on damage control at this stage. Sophie Ingle then finds Mara Mielda on the score sheet tonight. Chelsea's fourth. Chelsea coming forward, Mia Fischel. Chelsea now coming through with Guru Wrighton. Falls back to Buchanan. Chelsea enjoying themselves out there this evening. Not in any rush to progress the ball forward. Richard Karner is ball intercepted. And another flurry of substitutions for the home side. Lou Bogart coming off. Replaced by Ndongala. And Matteo also making way. Her race is run. And Fleury coming on. So Mara Mielda on the ball. Mara Mielda on the score sheet this evening. Then her last goal for Chelsea. Actually was in the Champions League last season. That crucial penalty against Leon. Today's goal, not as crucial, perhaps, but it'll count. And she'll be pleased, I'm sure. Beaver Jones plucks the ball out the air. Back to Sophie Ingle. Four minutes remaining. Chelsea, four goals to the good. Heading for another clean sheet as well. That'll be 11 clean sheets in their last 16 Champions League group stage games. Long ball will be cleared up by Musovic. Fleure not able to latch on to that. Mia Fischel, who's done well all night, holding that ball up, playing that number nine. Roll that pass out to Ritting Karnerid, not quite right though. Bogart on the bench there. Not looking like she's okay after that mishap with her goalkeeper. Ndongala. Her ball down the line, out for a throw for Chelsea. Chelsea then after this, back in the WSL against Everton on the weekend. Defending to do here though, Paris FC coming forward, ball across, goal off a Chelsea player out for a Paris FC corner. Can they get a consolation goal late on? They're sending plenty of players forward for this opportunity. In swinging corner, too close to Zachira Musovic, catching practice for the Chelsea number one. Nice vision there from Lawrence. Pass didn't quite come off, but gets a bit of applause from her manager Emma Hayes for the idea, the intent. Chelsea hit the ball, downfield, good header from Mia Fischel. Nuskin gets it under control. 
They've looked solid together in that midfield. Shokanuskan and Sophie Ingle. No Melanie Loipolt on the side today. And Rissin Kari will get onto this. She's got space all around her. Picks out the delivery, goes over everyone. Back to Nuskin, he'll keep it alive at the back post. Buchanan into Lawrence. Buchanan and Lawrence again just exchanging passes. And as I said, Sophie Ingle just anchoring that Chelsea midfield as they're coming forward again. Cut out well by Old Hussein. Mielda with the good close control out to Ritting Karnered. Been a substitute in today's game, but been one of Chelsea's best players, I would say, this season as our fourth official announced there'll be six minutes of additional time at the end of this 90. But yeah, Johanna Rittinkana had been a really key player for Chelsea this season. A starter often. Plays on that, the right-hand side. Got great pace, great delivery. Trying to latch on the ball now, unable to do so. Tini can't get there. Falls Kainy low for Bussi. Her effort blocked by Mielda. Corisek's ball out of play for a Chelsea throw in. So Chelsea going through to the quarterfinals. BK Hecken going through his runners up. Paris FC going out of the competition. Respectable third place though. Real Madrid bottom of the group. Chance here for Paris FC again. There is Kadisha Buchanan. As she's been all night. Just to prevent any danger. Paris FC applying the press, Chelsea just playing through it. Not great there, though, from Ritting Carnridge. You know, she's poor as well. Tries to run back and nick it. And then Miel just plays back to her goalkeeper. Oh, Neve Charles just about keeps that alive. A bit lackadaisical from Chelsea this final five minutes. Beaver Jones just trying to trick her way past the defender. And then when she didn't quite pull it off, pulled the defender to the ground. Not going to get in the book for that. She's lucky. And Dongola for Paris FC. Right and back to put the pressure on. She's in the box. Did well to hold her ground. Didn't try and die for the penalty. Fleure. Fleure with the ball across. Face of goal. Straight towards Buchanan. They're out for a corner. And the captain, Tini, trying to G up the crowd. Get behind their side, see if they can get a consolation goal here later on against the reigning English champions. Tierney plays it into a dangerous area, but Musovic is there under no pressure. Pluck it out the sky. Neve Charles pressuring Ndongala. It's going to 
pass all the way back to Nadozi, who's had such a good tournament in the Women's Champions League, but perhaps not her best this evening. Very much at fault alongside Swaya, her defender for that third Chelsea goal, the one with Guru Wright and just tapped it home. Paris FC coming forward, though. Last chance for them. Mielda holds her ground, and it's cleared by Nuskin. Another corner for the home side. So another corner then for Paris FC. Thea Krebovall over this set piece. Plenty of dark blue shirts in the 18-yard box. Crowding that front post. It's played short. Back to Krebovall. And then her ball off. A Chelsea player and out for a throw-in. Not quite the set-piece routine, but there is the full-time whistle. No, it isn't. That was a whistle in the crowd. I thought the ref had blown a bit earlier. We play on. Paris FC coming forward. Flore was in the box. Pass couldn't find her. Ritten Carnival will run this out for Chelsea. Guru Wright and making that run, arms aloft. Ball's surely going to have play there. This it has throw in for Paris FC. Another throw in for the home side as the clock ticks down. We've played the six minutes of additional time. And there actually is the full-time whistle then. Chelsea book their place in the quarter-finals of the Women's Champions League in some style. They've beaten Paris FC here by four goals to nil. Two goals in each half. Frank Kirby opening the scoring on ten minutes with a header. Assisted by Yelena Chankovic. Chankovic again, assist for the second, me official this time. And then in the second half, Chelsea cruising. Mistake at the back, miscommunication between Paris FC's goalkeeper and the defender allowed Guru Wrighton to pass it into an empty net. And then a collector's item, Maren Mielder's headed goal on the 79th minute to put the gloss on this Chelsea performance. Chelsea into the next round of the Champions League. Paris FC are out of the Women's Champions League. Full time here, Paris FC nil, Chelsea four. different Chelsea goal scorers on the score sheet today then Emma Hayes will be pleased with the performance her side put up she changed the team started a lot of players that don't usually start for Chelsea but they dispatch of this Paris FC side easily and into the quarter-finals Chelsea go can Emma Hayes get her hands on the Women's Champions League Draw for the next round is on February the 6th. Chelsea will be going through and in that draw as the seeded team, top of their group, BK Hacken, Swedish side, runners up. But Paris FC, their journey's come to an end. A really great Champions League campaign for them. They put out Arsenal and Wolfsburg in the qualifying rounds and they put up a good fight in this group d as well getting results against real madrid but chelsea today on the day were too strong for them 
good night out in Paris for Emma Hayes' Blues. Then from this match, Chelsea didn't have too many attempts on target, but they were clinical and efficient with their chances. Paris FC, 13 attempts on target, but only 13 total attempts, but only one on target. So Chelsea cruised to victory here in Paris. Frank Kirby getting things started, getting the party started for Chelsea. A header from a Yelena Chankovic cross. Second goal in the first half as well. Again, Yelena Chankovic with the assist, with the death cross and the official with her first Champions League goal in Chelsea colours. The third goal, a bit of a gift really from Paris FC. It was a long ball forward by Sophie Ingall and the goalkeeper and the defender both just left it. And Guru Wrighton said, thank you very much, I'll take another goal. The fourth goal as well, Marin Mielder from a corner, deft header. That's all from Paris, though. Full time here, Paris nil, Chelsea four. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. This is you on your first day as a teacher. Anybody? 
This is a class you'll inspire. Alien? No. Life. Really inspire. This is a lesson you'll learn from her, him, and then here's the day you're put to the test. Come on! And this is the day we forget! Oh! These are all the lives you'll shape. This is the one you'll shape the most. Search Get Into Teaching. You've just left home and moved to the city. And it's not quite going like you planned. I feel like I shouldn't have come here. Your sister says... Babe, you're surrounded by 8 million people. Just go out and find some of them. So, you do. You dance. You sit in awkward silences. You kiss. And you laugh till it hurts. A world that seems so closed off now feels so full of possibilities. Tinder. It starts with a swipe. Great to have you with us today. And as he clips in, clops off. Looking relaxed in the warm-up. Here we go. That's a super turn. And a nice little burst of speed. Oh, he really enjoyed that. Perfect touch. And he's curled it beautifully. Now, this is interesting. It could get called off here. But he's found a way. That's magnificent. There's just no stopping him. Get up to £400 of selected Peloton packages. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas.